Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you to share with you about an NLP technique that you can use and put in your toolkit for CFS recovery. And if you haven't already seen it, I hope you'll go back and check my, my video on the fifth layer in my recovery, neural retraining, because that's going to give you a lot of background information that I won't go over in this video about how neuro-linguistic programming can help retrain the nervous system. And since chronic fatigue syndrome is a neurological illness, it's a good tool to have in your kit. So I want to share with you a quote by Dr. Caroline Leaf, a neuroscientist in her book, Switch on Your Brain. Purposefully catching your thoughts can control the brain's sensory processing, the brain's rewiring, the neurotransmitters, the genetic expression, and cellular activity in a positive or a negative direction. So it's really amazing what changing our thoughts can do to our physiology. And so we want to use this to enhance our healing in recovery. And it's kind of funny where I got this tool from because I was watching my favorite pastor, Keith Moore, and he really has it dialed in about how our thoughts affect our behavior and our health. And it's really interesting to watch him. I saw him doing this video and it was cracking me up because he was teaching his congregation an NLP technique and I don't think he realized it was NLP. Um, maybe he did and he just didn't share that, but it was really interesting to see and I think it's a really um, interesting thing that NLP, I believe, goes back to uh, even ancient scriptures like the Bible that says uh, life and death are in the power of the tongue. And another one that's really important for us, let the weak say, I am strong. So anyway, I want to share with you about when you can use this technique. And the first time would be when you want to influence predictions. And, you know, we're always kind of thinking about things, whether what's going to be happening this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow. And the challenging thing about having chronic fatigue syndrome is often you're debilitated and you're isolated, especially when it's severe. And I know at that time it becomes, you know, it's really hard to manage those very scary predictions. And we'll find ourselves like running this movie of horrible things that might happen to us, like whether how horrible we'll feel if we do something and we crash or, you know, pushing ourselves out into the future. And it's almost like we pull up a chair, grab a box of popcorn and start watching this movie that's really scary. So what we want to do is interrupt those negative predictions and we want to replace them with positive predictions and movies that will go really well for our lives. And I have a card in my bathroom that says, predict what will go well today and in the future. And that's just a really good reminder for me to make sure predictions are working for me and not against me. The second time you can use this little, this very simple little NLP tool is when you're looping. And, you know, we all know that's a negative thought cycle that we can get into. And again, with CFS, I found when I was really in the dark days that I would latch on to something and just run it over and over and over in my mind. Something that might have been bothering me or something I could worry about. And, you know, normally pre-illness, it might have been something I'd be concerned about. But because the body's in that fight or flight mode, it's really challenging. We can get into a lot of negative looping. So you can use this uh, little tool when you catch yourself looping or any other random negative thought. You can use it. So this technique has four parts to it. First is the physical cue. You're going to do an arm motion. Second, there's a verbal cue. You're going to say, slap it down. Third is a vision cue, and you're going to replace it with a power statement. Fourth is the distract and engage cue, and that's where you're going to find something that gives you joy and fulfillment. Now, whenever you find that the either the looping or the predictions come back up, you just replay the technique. Because as we all know, thoughts can keep coming at us and we need to retrain our brains until we get that neuropathway going in a different direction. 
because you know our thoughts neural pathways are think of it like a path in the forest and I like to think of it actually like a channel we thought thoughts over and over and over until they build this deep channel and that's really easy for our thought to go through and so what we want to do is start digging a new channel and make that the easy path to go through and so basically this is how you do it let's practice this a little bit your arm motion is just going to be like this like you're slapping something down and so let's say that you're struggling with a prediction and you're thinking, oh, am I ever going to get better? I don't think I'll ever get over this. It's taking so long. Slap it down. I'm finding the resources that I need. I will overcome and I am living a healthy and happy life. So that's your power statement. Now you want to distract yourself and engage in some activity that you enjoy doing that brings you fulfillment because that's going to keep you from going back to that thought. If you go back to that thought, just do the slap it down again. Replay the technique. Um, and if you're in bed, you could turn on a TV show that you enjoy or listen to some music or do something to engage yourself. You know, it's a lot easier when you're farther down the recovery road. Uh, you don't, you have a lot more options on how to engage yourself. But that's something you can do if you are in bed or do some coloring, do something to get your mind in a different direction. And maybe even play the movie. Play it out like a beautiful movie and a, and a happy movie rather than the scary movie. So let's take another one. Let's say that you're thinking you're going to be going somewhere, but you're worried about it. You're thinking, oh no, you know, how am I going to do with it? And maybe I'm going to crash afterwards and everybody's going to think I'm such a, you know, because I leave early, slap it down. I do what I need to do for my recovery and I am growing in health and wellness. Now, distract and engage yourself. Okay, so let's see another example. There are so many when you're struggling with CFS that come up. The big one, after you've done something and you're thinking, oh no, I overdid it. What if I crash? Slap it down. I'm going to get myself a rest and I'm going to feel so much better after that. I am growing in wellness. That's your power statement. Now again, distract and engage yourself in something you love doing. Now, the other situation we talked about is looping. And so let's say we're going over and over and over in something in my mind. And I just want to mention this right now because of nickel therapy, which is so great, is that if there's something you need to speak or something you need to do, that's most important rather than just trying to stop this thought. Um, you know, maybe write out in a journal, what could you say? What could you do to resolve this issue? But if this keeps coming up and it's something that you feel like you've done, you've managed as well as you can, and now you just have to, you know, deal with how it is, and you're worrying and looping about it, this is the time to use the slap it down. So let's say we're worrying about our kids, about how are they going to be, and you know, oh, I'm losing all this time. Slap it down. My kids and I have a really strong relationship, and we're growing in understanding of each other. And now just dis disengage, distract, and engage yourself in something that you enjoy doing. Another little technique that I found recently when I'm, I'm bothered by a situation with someone but I feel like I've done everything I can do and it still hasn't resolved to the degree that I'd like it to, what I do is, um, I just saw this on YouTube and I thought it was really fun so I'll share it here. It's like you're watching a movie, right? So you let that movie get smaller and smaller and smaller. It's just like a movie ticket and then you're just going to take it right out of your forehead, squatch it up and just toss it out to the universe, to God and say, I'll let you take care of that. So that's really been useful for me. So if there's something you're looping about, you can use the slap it down, or you can use the tear up that little movie ticket, throw, and then you throw it out to the universe and to God, and you say, I'll let you take care of that. I'm free. Okay, a couple of things on it before we go is do not use this to push yourself. Just use it to gently redirect your thoughts. You know, we these thoughts need to be taken captive so we can use them to the best in our healing that we can so don't drive yourself with it as in you know making yourself go do things go no i can do it i can do it slap it down i can do everything you know go according to where you are in your level of recovery and just use it to enhance your recovery and then the next thing i would say is if you're bed bound and I know when I first started using some NLP techniques when I was, I overdid it because I was using too much energy into it. So what I would recommend you do is in a very gentle voice and with your hand, just say, slap it down when it comes time to do that and just slap it down. So just accommodate yourself at whatever stage in recovery you're, you are, just 
use the amount of animation that you want to. Like right now, I go, hey baby, slap it down. That's, that's what I'm doing, shut it down, okay? So anyway, you will get there and just be encouraged. It does take work to retrain our thoughts, so don't give up on this important practice. And I hope that you'll incorporate it. And again, it's just a tool to put in your recovery kit. And, you know, I've really enjoyed some brain retraining programs, as you've seen in my other video, hopefully. Um, and I've got a really good buddy, Jason McTiernan, Inspired Rewired. Check him out. He's an NLP master practitioner as well as an LP practitioner. And uh, he's got some great things great free content on Facebook and YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell so next time I uh, set out a video, I can ring your bell. Anyway, take care, warriors, and remember, life's not over, it's starting again.